Are you tired of being denied online purchases with your debit card? Discover why your bank might be blocking you and how to unlock hassle-free digital transactions today. Number 1. Why can I use my debit card to buy online? Have you ever found yourself frustrated at the checkout screen? Trying to make an online purchase with your trusty debit card? Only to be met with a rejection message? It's a common scenario, and one that often leaves people wondering why they can't simply use their debit card for online transactions. The answer lies in the policies of your bank. Many financial institutions have stringent measures in place to protect against fraud and identity theft. And this includes restrictions on using debit cards for online purchases. Since debit cards are directly linked to your checking account, banks are particularly cautious about allowing them to be used in the digital realm. Without proper authorization, your card may not be enabled for online transactions, leaving you stuck at the virtual checkout. To illustrate, consider a scenario where Sarah receives her new debit card in the mail. Excited to make her first online purchase, she eagerly navigates to her favorite online store, only to be met with disappointment when her card is declined. Confused, she contacts her bank, only to learn that her card has not been authorized for online use. Despite her frustration, Sarah comes to understand that this measure is in place to safeguard her finances from potential cyber threats. Number 2. Do you need to activate your debit card to use it online? One common misconception is that you need to activate your debit card before using it for online transactions. However, this is not necessarily the case. Unlike credit cards, which often require activation before use, most debit cards are ready for immediate use upon receipt. However, if you intend to make a contactless payment, you may need to perform a chip and PIN transaction first to activate this feature. This additional step ensures that your card is fully functional and ready for a variety of payment methods, including online purchases. For instance, when John receives his new debit card in the mail, he is eager to start using it for online shopping. Excitedly, he attempts to make a purchase on his favorite e-commerce platform, only to realize that his card is not working. Remembering the advice of his bank, John decides to perform a chip and pin transaction at his local grocery store. After completing this step, he tries again to make the online purchase. And this time, his transaction goes through smoothly. By following the necessary activation process, John is able to unlock the full potential of his debit card for online transactions. Number 3. How do I make my debit card eligible for online transactions? So, you've discovered that your debit card isn't enabled for online purchases. What can you do to rectify this situation? The solution lies in activating your card for online transactions through your bank's internet banking portal. The process is relatively straightforward. First, log in to your bank's internet banking platform using your credentials. Then, navigate to the Value Added Services or Cards section. Depending on your bank's website layout, here, you should find an option labeled, Debit Card On, Off, or something similar. Select this option, and follow the prompts to activate your debit card for online transactions. Once completed, you should be able to use your card to make purchases on the internet with ease. For example, Emily finds herself unable to use her debit card for online shopping. Determined to resolve the issue, she logs into her bank's internet banking portal and navigates to the Cards section. After locating the debit card on off option, she follows the prompts to activate her card for online transactions. Within minutes, Emily's debit card is now eligible for use on her favorite e-commerce websites, allowing her to shop online without any hassle. By taking advantage of her bank's online services, Emily has successfully unlocked the full potential of her debit card for digital purchases. Number 4. Why is my debit card not working even though it's activated? You've activated your debit card, followed all the necessary steps, and yet, your card is still not working. What could be the problem? If your card is newly activated and experiencing issues, it's possible that the activation process was not fully completed. In some cases, the card provider may need to manually activate the card on their end, which can lead to temporary disruptions in functionality. Additionally, your card may be declined for your protection particularly if there are suspicions of fraudulent activity. Banks employ sophisticated algorithms to detect unusual spending patterns or suspicious transactions, and they may temporarily block your card to prevent unauthorized use. While this can be frustrating, it's ultimately done with your financial security in mind. 
consider a scenario where David activates his new debit card and attempts to use it for an online purchase. Despite completing the activation process, his transaction is declined at the checkout. Perplexed, David contacts his bank for assistance. After reviewing his account, the bank informs him that his card was temporarily blocked due to a potential security threat. Although inconvenient, David understands that this measure was taken to protect his funds from unauthorized access. After verifying his identity and confirming the legitimacy of the transaction, David's card is promptly unblocked, allowing him to complete his purchase without further issues. If you learned something from this video, please subscribe and leave a comment saying, I subscribed, and I will personally reply to your comment. And as always, thanks for watching.